Alright people, it's Sprite here and today I'm bringing you guys my 400k Q&A video. I want to thank everybody who submitted a question, whether that was on Twitter or in the comments section below. So yeah, thank you all for submitting. I'm hoping this is going to be a little good video here. I've picked the best questions in my opinion, so we're going to fly through these. It's going to be in no particular order, but I hope you all enjoy. So Reek asks, do you remember the first video that you uploaded onto YouTube? And I remember this one specifically. There was like a two, I think I uploaded two at the same time. But this was before I ever did gaming videos or watched gaming videos. This was back when I first got into YouTube and I was a big fan of FIFA. I loved playing FIFA and I had this small television in my room. I had a terrible quality camera on my phone and I basically recorded this halfway line call on a FIFA. I don't even remember which FIFA it was. Could be like 06 or something like that. You know, it's bit, it, was a, it was a while ago. It really was. So um, that was my first video and I actually got like a few thousand views but I don't know how because the quality was terrible. You couldn't even see what was going on and it was just the worst video ever. But I think the account was like Jamster123. So if you search hard enough I'm sure you'll be able to find that and you know have a little laugh there. So the next question is from Draxy and he says what is your future career path and do you want to continue YouTube for as long as possible? Now I'll quickly answer this. So basically... I don't really have a future career path right now. I'm, I'm absolutely clueless. I went to university, did a degree on uh, digital media production, and I just don't know if I want to do media as a career. So I'm kind of stumped right now. I have no idea what I want to go into. So you are correct. I'm trying to do YouTube as long as possible or as long as um, I can until I figure out what I want to do as a, as a proper career and a proper job. So obviously a lot of people don't see this as a proper job, but I like to see it as a, you know, a good bit of income as well as me, you know, enjoying myself and keep myself entertained as well as entertaining others. So I'm doing it until I find something I want to do as a, you know, as a career. So next question is from Sky and I actually really like this one. It's a bit of a toughie and he asked me, would you rather never play video games again or never listen to music again? So you have to choose one of those and I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you would do so if you had to pick between video games or music which would you have you know as an option for the rest of your life so i i'm gonna go with music i know that's kind of a bit weird for me because i make gaming videos all that kind of stuff but music is literally amazing i love such a variety of music right now i'm loving rap so much you know hip-hop all that kind of stuff and um i probably couldn't imagine not listening to music ever again i'll walk around the house have music on i'll go outside and i'll be listening to music or whatever it just it's always there and obviously video games are great, but music is, is better in my opinion. So yeah, let me know what you think and thanks for the great question. So our next question is from, I'm just going to say P and because uh, I'm not going to pronounce the handle there. But basically he said, what motivated you to lose weight and what are your eating choices like now? So if you didn't know, I used to be quite overweight back in the day, a few years back now. And uh, I lost a lot of weight and the reason I got motivated was down to a photograph. Uh, basically, I went on a cruise with my family and we had a family photo taken together, you know, all suited up. And uh, we got the, you know, the photo printed out and I, that's when it hit me. I just saw myself really overweight. You know, I saw myself in the mirror every day or whatever, but it just never hit me until I had it on, you know, a piece of paper in front of me. And it just, I was just like, wow, I'm overweight. I'm unhealthy. I need to sort this out. So that was my motivation. Probably took a lot longer than it should have, but I finally motivated myself in the end uh, because of that photograph and uh, my eating choices right now they're not the best I'm still eating pretty well I want to get back on the health grind the health kick whatever you want to call it uh, definitely going to be starting that as soon as possible I know people postpone it a lot and I've done my fair share of postponing this kind of stuff but definitely 2015 is going to be a year where I'm going to get really healthy and it's going to be it's going to be good so uh, yeah thanks for the question so Jordan Shaw asked me a really good question and his question is how is life after university moving back home after three years is a scary thought yes it really is like I lived at home for the first year bad decision but then I was living at a university for the second and third year and it is very strange. A couple of months ago, I was ready to go back, you know, because you come home for the summer, obviously, where you don't have classes or anything. But I uh, I was ready to go back. It was like a few months after. And I was like, oh, I'm really, you know, itching to go back and live on my own again or live with other people. So it's got to the point now I really want to move out. And I could move out if I wanted to, but I'm just in that situation where I don't have a stable idea of what I want to do in the future, like I said in previous question. Um, so... You know, living at home is fine. I do enjoy seeing my family, all that kind of stuff. But I really like to be independent and I'm so excited to move out at some point 
not really sure what it will be. I'm hoping it, you know, early start of next year could be the, you know, could be the time, but we'll have to see. But yeah, it's pretty weird that living back at home again after living by yourself or living, you know, away from home for two years. But yeah, I'm hoping to move out again soon and, you know, get that feeling back of living away from home. So our next question is from Mike Silent and he asked me, what is my most memorable moment in phase? And to be honest with you, it's probably when I went to MLG Anaheim. That was a gaming event back in, I think it was June and it was just an incredible time. I met so many people who knew who I was, like that's honestly ridiculous. And it was all down to phase. You know, I did have a few subscribers before I joined phase, but that was like three and a half years ago. I have no idea where I would be now if I didn't join phase. It's, it's, it's a mystery, it really is. But that is my most memorable moment because it was honestly ridiculous. Everybody walking up to me and, and getting me to sign things and Oh, it was just it was just an incredible time and I can't thank you guys enough for supporting me and giving me this opportunity to do stuff like that because uh, traveling to America to go to a gaming event was honestly ridiculous. It really was. Once in a lifetime thing for sure for me anyway. So yeah, thank you all for that and thanks for the question. So Vivius asked me, would you love to live in the Phase House in New York City and I honestly would. That would be an incredible time. I've always wanted to visit New York. Like, even if I just visited the house, I'm sure it'd be an incredible time. So, I definitely would love to live there. I'm sure we'd have so much fun and get a lot done and be super productive. Because right now, I'm not being very productive, to be honest with you. Yeah, I definitely would love to live there. But even visiting would be, you know, it'd be awesome. It really would. So, this next question, I'm not really sure how to pronounce the name. So, I'm just going to go with Aced. Because I'm guessing it's a you know alternate spelling, you could say. But he asked me, "Are you third in command at phase?" And um, I've had this joke going on for a while now. I think C did Cbus come up with it like years ago now? Because this was before there was banks, before there was Apex, before there was Rain. Uh, it was basically just Tommy and uh, or well Temper and Cbus. And there we you know one and two. Obviously Tommy was the owner and Cbus was the lead, you could say. And uh, I'm pretty sure Cbus said you know this third in command joke on Twitter. And ever since then, I've just, you know, we've always done it. We just joked around here and there. I would love to be third in command. That would be awesome. You know, I'd love to have a little bit more of um, a say of what's going down on phase and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not actually third in command. We always joke about it. And I always, uh, I always enjoy myself when doing that. But it would be an awesome thing to be there. But, uh, you know, who knows? Who knows what happens? Maybe one day. We'll see. So this next question is from Lexo. And they ask, what is my most embarrassing moment in school? And I'm trying to think of what uh, year it would have been, what school it would have been, but I'm pretty sure it was junior school. I'm not really sure what the equivalent is in America or whatever, but this was like junior school. I was probably like year, I want to say like year three, year four or something. I don't I don't remember. I was really young though, and my sister was in the same school. She was a year or two older than me. And basically the receptionist or the, you know, whatever you want to call them, came into this assembly. So we're all sat there, hundreds of kids and obviously teachers and everything, all sat in this big hall, all waiting to be spoke to by the head teacher and all that kind of stuff. And this receptionist walked in and shouted my sister's name, but all I heard was Spratt, and obviously that's my last name. So I stood up to start walking out to, uh, you know, to this woman. She obviously had a message for me. And everybody burst out laughing. Bearing in mind, I was a little kid, hundreds of people just laughing at me, pointing at me. And even the teachers were, you know, smiling and smirking at me. So I was really a shy kid when I was younger. Um, a lot more confident now, but back then I was really shy and this was just a dr uh, just a terrible terrible time for me Especially at that age and uh, that's why I can remember it was a really traumatic time for everyone to be pointing and laughing at you So yeah, that's probably the most embarrassing moment uh, when you actually stand up and they've called out a girl's name So uh, yeah, anyway next question So this next question is from crazy and he asks are you ever discouraged by any comments on YouTube or anything? People say on Twitter and um, yeah, I am because you know I've been around a while and you think I've kind of become immune to it you could say I see it all the time and I usually it doesn't get to me but um the problem with me is I like to please as many people as I can I like to please everyone so if I work on a video for months and months I want everybody to enjoy it or at least be entertained by it a little bit um I don't want any negative feedback that's the problem I'm, I'm trying to be perfectionist and it doesn't obviously work out everybody has different opinions everybody has different tastes and music and editing and play style and clips and all that kind of stuff so it's so it's impossible to please everyone and I I can't get that into my head sometimes if I worked on a video for so long I really let it get to me if someone says negative things so all these positive comments can come my way and um 
I could get one negative comment and it can get to me. But in the last few months, I've uh, put that aside, especially when example five dropped, I put that aside, I focused on the positives and it's definitely been worth it. So this next question is from Ozev. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. And he said, who are your favorite top five rappers? Uh, it's gonna be hard to condense them down, but overall I've got, I go through stages where I like certain artists and then I don't like them and then I like them again. It's probably because I overplay their music and get, you know, get used to it. Um, but when I have a break and listen to him again, I really enjoy their stuff. So definitely Eminem, uh, really love his old stuff. Uh, it's probably some of my favorite music as well as his new stuff's pretty good as well. Uh, so he's on there. I would say Logic as well. I know a lot of people think just because he's in phase videos, he's not a good rapper. He's honestly ridiculous. Uh, you know, lyrics, flow, all that good stuff. He's a, he's a great rapper. Like I say, I'm going off preference here. I'm going off what I enjoy right now. I really like Jay the Reaper from Dope D.O.D. Uh, I know there's three guys in that group, but I just love his, you know, his voice over probably like dubstep, heavy beats, all that kind of stuff. So he's, he's honestly a great rapper as well. So that's three. There's a guy called Lil Dicky, which I know is a pretty weird name. You might remember his name from, I think he did like Ex-Boyfriend, which went viral on like Reddit uh, a few years ago now. And ever since then, I, you know, downloaded his mixtape and I've listened to him ever since. I even donated to his Kickstarter for his, uh, for his album because that's how much I enjoy his stuff. So I would definitely check him out if you haven't heard of him. I'm sure a lot of people haven't. So yeah, Lil Dicky, and on par with him right now, I'd say Watsky. I forgot about him for a while, and then a few years ago, I picked him up again, and just loved all his albums. Carbo Castle was incredible. Uh, probably one of my favorite albums ever. So he's on there as well. I know that's five, but I wanna, I'll want to. i probably say Machine Gun Kelly as well. Really, really enjoy his music. And uh, who else could I go with? Tyler, the creator. Just a great, <laughs> great musician as well. God, there's so many I could name. I, I could I couldn't stop it at five. I'm the the five I named though. I'm really enjoying right now. I could listen to all that stuff as of now. And the others I go on and off. But Machine Gun Kelly should be in the top five as well. Um, let's make a top six. Let's go in top six. So great question. It really is nice to talk about music because I, I really do enjoy it. So um, so this next question is from Waj. I'm hoping I pronounce that right. And he said top five favorite films ever. So this, I'm definitely not going to be able to get five. I'm going to be getting 10 here or something because there's so many great films out there that I love and I could watch any day. So the main two that I usually tell people is The Social Network, which is a film based on Facebook. I know it sounds terrible, but it is actually one of the one of the greatest films I've ever seen. Jesse Eisenberg is probably one of my favorite actors alongside Will Ferrell, which leads me on to uh, the next film, which is Step Brothers. That is probably one of my favorite comedies ever. I could just watch that over and over. So that's two then we could go with we could go with a bunch i love zombie films so uh dawn of the dead the new newer version sorry to all those who would love the classics then i could go with Shaun of the dead i could go with Zombieland. they are just great world war z is pretty good i wouldn't put that my favorite but just putting it out there world war z is uh, is a pretty good zombie film as well um there's some classics like i really enjoy the dark knight uh batman obviously we can go with now you see me another jesse eisenberg film which is great i could also go with the fighter which is a, a great film um super bad really funny film and i guess i'll go with pineapple express another another good one there so i really like comedies that wasn't top five but that's maybe top 10 not really sure how many i named but let me know your favorite films as well in the comments and um let's move on to the next question so RG3 asked me, what are some of your IRL goals that you plan on reaching by the end of 2015 or 2015, however you want to say it? So as of now, I haven't really set many. So one of them is going to be get really healthy. I'm really excited to get on a little bit of a health grind, health kick, and uh, just get in the best shape of my life. You could say, well, actually, probably won't because when I was a kid, I did so many sports. So I was really, really fit back in the day. So I probably won't get in the best shape of my life, but I want to get, you know, I want to get close. So I want to get really... Uh, really fit again and maybe build a bit of muscle as well we'll see we'll see but uh, that's definitely one thing i want to do and hopefully decide on a career path like i mentioned in previous questions i don't really know what my uh, you know what my career is going to be so i'll hopefully decide on a career path and then pursue that in any way i can so apart from those two i obviously want to go move out so this has kind of tied all the questions i've had before into one so i want to move out with my parents now that I've graduated from university, probably with some friends or something, that'd be the you know the ideal situation. I don't really want to live by myself; might get a bit bored. So yeah, those are my plans for 2015. Hopefully, I uh, you know pursue them. Vino or Veno asked me, where in the world would you travel to if I you know if I had enough money to do that? Well, I like I said in previous question again, I'd really want to go to New York. We were planning to go last year or this year, but um, we ended up not going because I ended up going to. 
uh, the LA MLG Anaheim trip. So my main place will be New York City, but overall I just want to visit a bunch of places because the world's a big place and there's a lot of things to see, so I definitely would love to travel a lot. But it's, and it's all down to money, so yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed and got to know me a little better. And if you did, please leave a like. It would really help out a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will speak to you guys soon. Peace.